as you can see, the pink did not fade, which really, really sucks. Um, but then I looked it up and a uh, splat dye. This is about as good as it's going to get as far as red dye. And I know that I use splat dye on this. Um, and I guess that like even professionals won't color correct your hair with splat dye. So I think this might be as good as I'm going to get. And people say just die over it. So. But you're going to die over it with this sapphire Paris L'Oreal Palace Sapphire Smoke? Hmm. First of all, that smoke is a really dark, dark, dark color. So, I don't know if you are going to be happy. Do you want to have it metal? Do you want to have it gray? The pink will not be gone, that's for sure. Um, but I think your hair is too yellowy. And do you have one box? Otherwise, it will be very patchy. But if you put pink or red on your head, it's so, so, so difficult to get it out. Please think, please think if you put one of these colors on your head, think what you're going to do next. Because it's really difficult to get it out, especially pink. And you do color corrections and the only thing you can do are color wash. So with bleach and hot water normal shampoo not dandruff and then uh, 20 volumes and then look over look put it on the on the string on the piece of hair and check it regularly because it can be very good it can be very good after one minute after five minutes after 10 minutes you have to check it regularly if it's too far it's too far so don't damage your hair unnecessarily but let's see this smoke I don't know what you're trying to achieve here. Okay, so I'm back from washing all the stuff, the um, purple off of my skin, which, by the way, if y'all don't already know this, coconut oil will get that stuff right off. Yeah, maybe that's a good thing for the coconut oil. You did not put coconut oil in your hair. Please, please, please. Uh, it's looking really fucking purple. <laughs> Um, it does not, I mean, <laughs> it's so purple. But the purple is neutralizing the yellow or orange. It's necessary. That's why it, the, the shampoo calls purple shampoo. You know, if you want to go to gray, you need purple or blue to neutralize it. Kind of scares me, not that I have a big problem with purple hair. It will not be purple, it will not be purple. If you leave it for a whole night, it will be. But in this case, no. I mean, I love bright colors and I've had bright colors before or, you know, just, or, you know, just deep shades or whatever. Um, but I just was not looking to have purple, purple hair. It will not be a pastel tint. Um, I was looking to have sapphire smoke, like that's not even... I mean, it could still be sapphire smoke once I wash it out. Oh no, no, no. It will not be the same as the box. You need to have it white. If it's white with no pigments in it, then it can be that smoke color, that silver gray color. Not on that yellow orangey hair. That ain't no smoky blue. That is that is purple. That is some purple ass hair. Oh god. Now you're going to read the directions. Let color develop for up to ten minutes or until Faria Pastel's color is achieved. Pastel's is underlined. Like, if I don't let it sit for only 10 minutes, it's not going to be pastel. I think it's been in for about 5. My camera cut out, but I was just going on about how purple it is, so it's not like you're missing anything, honestly. I'm going to go ahead, since my camera's done, I'm going to go ahead and cover my head. And um, I'll see you in like 20 minutes or so after I'm done washing it all out. Okay, so it is the next day now, um, again. And I uh, washed out 
the hair dye and let it sit. I didn't blow dry it because, well, okay, that's a lie. I lied. I just lied. I don't know why I did that. Uh, <laughs> I blow dried it the first time and it was like super, super patchy, probably because I am um, really careless. And it just had one box, I guess. So that was my first thing. And it was really, really, really yellowish. If you have different strings with different pores, so the one string will absorb more color than another one. So it's patchy. That's normal. Beside how you apply it. It was really bad. I mean, you can still kind of see it's not perfect. It's still, I would not say really, really bad, but not good. Uh, but I mean, I might go buy another box. We'll see. But, um, I'm not, I'm not positive yet, but, uh, yeah, I did blow dry it first and I was not happy with how it looked at all. Like it was really bad. And so I touched it up and I even, um, what I even did was I mixed it with, um, what I would usually do, like with, uh, uh, some purple hair dye and some conditioner and like mix it in with what was left of the bottle. And I think that really helped, like. I didn't take a picture before of it because it was really, really bad and I was like, nah, nah, <laughs> you know, but, um, like it was way worse than this. Like this is really good in comparison. Um, okay. If this is good, it's too bad that we did not see after the first application, but your hair needs to be white. Coming from my kitchen and this is Barbie. Die Hard Barbie. I have seen her on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and oh wow, she's doing crazy things with her hair. And I think her hair is nearly dead, maybe already a few times died. So, are you going to apply the same box? Today's video, we are dyeing our hair. Sapphire Smoke by L'Oreal Paris. And that was very cringy. I'm dyeing my whole head blue. Let's get into the video right now. I would not say that's blue. It has more purple in it to kill the yellow pigments. So, and if your hair, like yours, is very porous, it will absorb the purple. It will be very, very, very different result than the previous one because box dye color is a very stupid product and it's just working on a base and it's turning into a color. If you have five clients next to each other and you apply the same color, let's say this smoky box dye, you will have five different results depending on the porosity, depending, depending on the level of bleaching, depending on how many orange or yellow pigments are inside. Many factors are playing here with these colors. I tried the L'Oreal Paris pastel pink one and it was completely horrible. The smell was horrible, the way it looked was horrible, and I don't really have faith in you, okay? Give me some faith. Why are you buying the same box if you, this is for, this is for content, for sure. Why are you buying the same box if you're having fails with it? Because I like this color. Okay. That's a good point. I did a bleach bath on my hair. I'll link the video down below if you want to see me do a bleach bath on my hair and how I do it, the products I use, how long I use it for to get this color of kind of like a very light platinum blonde. That's not platinum. It's very blonde. It's pale yellow, but it's not platinum. So the color of this is, it says P1 Smoky Blue, but the actual like name on it says Sapphire Smoke. So I am super excited to get my hands dirty. Well, my hair dirty. <laughs> It, it feels like a sin to honestly put color on top of this beautiful blonde. Like, it just feels like, charge me now, arrest me, handcuff me. That's kinky. So on the side of the box, these are the recommended blondes for the blue to work, so. I'm very curious what you see for yourself, what color that you are. 
I see the bottom one, the third one. Correct me if I'm wrong, I see purple. I don't see blue. I see purple on the three colors on the back of the package. Or do I see colors differently? I'm, I'm, I think I'm like this, but like a little bit darker. So we're just gonna wing it like we do with everything. Number one goes in number two and the developer is in number two and this is the color I guess. We are just gonna put these to make love. That's how you open it now, it's so cool. Like They're becoming very advanced with, um, you know, the open of the caps. Like, that was just like a spin cap. Like, remember the old ones where you had to bite off the tip or cut off the tip? Those ones are annoying. Oh my god, I just thought, what if I don't have enough? Uh, don't say you already have one box, always buy more. <laughs> What if I don't have enough though? So I, I really got to be sparing. But why? Why are you always buying one box? You have your hair fails in the past. You know you need more than one box. That's what you get for being on Die Hard Barbie's channel. It's a train wreck as usual, guys. Die Hard Barbie, that's the name. Hopefully we can pull this through. We can do it, okay? I mean, it doesn't matter, like, if there's a little bit of blonde in there. It might be cute, right? It is working super fast. Like, oh my gosh, I can see the blue. Oh my gosh. But I see purple. Is it me? I see purple. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough. I have like a pixie cut, how do I not have enough? But you know, with the box die, you never have enough. Oh my god. Whatever, 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 whatever. We are trying to use everything in the bottle. Cut we it open. We definitely need two boxes, guys. Like, and the smell is like rancid. It's literally purple and it's not blue. It's purple. What the actual, what is this? Does this look like this, L'Oreal? Does this, does this? No, but it's never looking like the box. And if you are applying the color, it's always different if it's on your hair than what the end result will be. Don't be scared if the color is on your hair. It's too dark. It's too purple, it's too blue. It's always different, that's for sure. Never judge a color when it's on your hair. But your hair is very porous of all the bleaches that you had and it will absorb every purple pigment that's inside that box. There will be shades of blue, there will be shades of that bluish gray, but there will be pieces that are also purple. My hair is purple, and I hate purple. This is exactly why I hate box dye. We are gonna go use head and shoulder shampoo and see if I can lighten it a bit. I'm gonna go wash it out right now. <sighs> I guess you're not afraid of damaging your hair. That's true. Okay, so we are back. We are gonna be using the Argan Oil Color Remover. No, I'm joking. We're not using this in today's video, but definitely in an upcoming video to get rid of this blue. It's not blue. There are pieces that are very nice of color, but this in the front is very purplish. These colors are good, but wash it a few times and not with purple shampoo uh, and it will fade out. Be patient, but I guess that's something you don't have. I mean, it's Argan Oil Color Fix. I've heard really good things about it. So um, it's time to come in handy to get rid of the blue in upcoming videos. But for now, we're going to give my hair a little bit of a break. But the color, I absolutely flipping hate. It's not like the box at all. The lengths are like the box. Or do I see it wrong put it in the comments if i'm right if it's purple and not blue or do i see colors differently am i colorblind 
press one of these videos to see more hair fails and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell, you can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kus.